Hey, Gary with Infinite Tech Services here, and if you want to learn how to configure and set up the ClickShare C10, then watch this video. All right, let's go ahead and get this set up. This is the button that hooks up via USB-C. This allows you to wirelessly transmit your desktop via this device, and you can connect to either Mac or PC. And here's a quick setup guide. So you need to connect to the Barco ClickShare, go ahead and install it, configure it, and pair it. We'll go through that process here. This is the base unit for the ClickShare. Take a look at this, we've got USB, USB-C, uh, HDMI, the Ethernet port, and the power. And here's a ClickShare base unit, or at least a mount for that. And inside here, you'll find your power for the base unit. Ideally, you'll have a hard wire here, so let's go ahead and connect that to the Cat6 cable. Plug that in, and then let's power it up. Okay, you can see that it's powering up right now. And then the other thing we need to do is pair this up with the ClickShare. Plug that in. All right, the next thing you wanna do is once this is powered up, you wanna go ahead and connect to this via the web interface. And let's go ahead and click on my share screen and let's find what the IP address is. So on the Mac, I'm using a app called LandScan. We've got two, and let's see, is it the... So the other one is with this IP address. So once you find the IP address, go ahead and put that in your browser. And you can ignore this connection is not private. So click on Show Details, and go ahead and click on Visit This Website, and Visit This Website. And the default password is admin. So we'll just go ahead and put admin. Go ahead and accept those prompts. You can see that we first started, and let's start the configuration. And you have the option to do automatic notify or off. Let's keep it on automatic and click on next. And this meeting room, we'll just leave it default for now. And you can put in some names here and we'll show what that looks like later on and click on next. We are in California, so let's click Pacific and we can set the time and date automatically. And here's where you have some options for the security. You can review those uh, just for the purposes of this demo. I'll leave it at default. And we also need to switch the password. So let's go ahead and put in a password here. And since my other one is already set at channel 36, I'm going to change the channel so there's no conflicting channels in terms of the frequency for the network. And I'll leave that SSID Oh, you know what? I'm going to call this T T O R click share. And then we can put in a passphrase. And this allows you to connect to this SSID directly, but you will not get internet access through this. This just gives you the capability to either cast to it or use AirPlay directly to the click share without using the wireless puck. Click on next and finish configuration. And it's just giving you the warning that you need to repair all your buttons due to the following changes, that the SSID changed and the password has changed. Let's go ahead and click on Finish Configuration. It looks like it's doing a firmware update. And let me see if I can capture the screen so you can see what it looks like when you hook it up to an HDMI device. All right, it's rebooting. And what I'll do is let me go ahead and get that connected. I'm going to capture the screen on my recording device here. So let's just connect that via here. All right, so when it's green, it's paired. So if I switch this over and remove that out, and I connect this over to, if I click on my iPhone settings, See where I see the click share selection? It looks like an Apple TV. If I select that, 
Now it's going to ask me for the code. And then on the bottom, you see how it says 5128. I'll just type in 5128 and click OK. And now I'm sharing my entire iPhone. So you can even use this as a FaceTime camera if you wanted to, or you can share an application that is on your, on your iPhone. But that's one easy way to connect is using AirPlay to connect to the ClickShare. And this is even without the puck, which is really cool. So one of the things you can use this for is having this as a roaming camera. And you can see that this puck isn't connected. However, if I did plug this in and clicked on this, you'll see the default functionality of the ClickShare going over to the ClickShare device. And then as soon as I go over here to stop, so let's go swap there and click on stop mirroring. And then you present to that. In the next section, I'll cover the different screens that uh, you'll see on the web interface. So you have the open screen ID, or the, you have the on-screen ID. This is where you can change the meeting room name. So for example, if I'm going to call this uh, click share, I can say welcome to, and then over here, and I'm going to say where this is is. So if I click on save changes, and then we go to that particular screen, you'll see that it's been reflected onto the welcome screen. So that will show up on the display. Let's switch back over here. You can also switch the wallpaper and you can choose your screen there accordingly. Here's where your config configuration is. Display and audio. You can do the automated resolution. You can select what your output is. And then under the screen saver, I say never. Under peripherals, we have speaker and touch screen. And the Wi-Fi network, here's where you can configure the Wi-Fi network. And also the LAN settings. So let's call this, uh, click on save. And whenever you do this, you need to repair all the buttons. So let's click on OK. All right, so whenever we plug this in, you'll see that it says finish pairing and updating button and it'll be green on the button itself then you can unplug that and it'll be set up so let's go back over to the setup screen okay so under the wi-fi network and the services that's where you can use the clickshare app you can stream via airplay you can also use google cast and with, when you use Google Cast, it's not going to ask you for a passcode. So when you're in a Google app, it'll automatically cast to the one you select. And then you can select what type of passcode type if you wanted to for the mirror cast. Here's uh, the present sense. Uh, this is when it's detecting the button, the ClickShare API. You're using the remote control via API. And then if we take a look at security, we saw that earlier. And here's where you can change your passwords. Under the system, I'll give you some details about the system. You've got date and time, energy savers. I like to keep that on off so that it doesn't show up as black on the projector. And then under the buttons, I'll show the existing buttons that you've got set up. And there's that button. And then under the blackboard, and XMS, and then under support and updates, it shows that we're currently up to date. All right, so that concludes the setup and configuration of the ClickShare C10. If you found this useful, definitely hit that like and subscribe on the way out, and thanks for watching. If your company is based out of the San Francisco Bay Area, we'd be happy to give you a quote for a Logitech install for your conference room or common area. Check out our reviews on Yelp, and if this was helpful, definitely hit like and subscribe on the way out. Thanks for watching.